All right, so this is a quick little tutorial on how to make advanced Roblox exploit GUIs uh, very quickly so you don't have to actually code out all of the GUI. This is like a uh, GUI library thing. All it is is this script. This is an example script. It's a load string and it was created by uh, Ika on Verm. So shout out to whoever the fuck that is. But uh, it's actually super simple and it's really advanced. It's based off of Wally Hub or Wally UI. What you have is you have a whole bunch of different instances you can create. So you have the window, which is this itself. Then you have folders, which is like the B where you can expand it and stuff. And then you have labels, buttons, toggles, sliders, drop downs, binds, color pickers, and boxes. And each of those do a different things. So if I open up the developer console, whenever I hit these or do something or change a value, it will uh, come out in the output. So if I click, it's a button. Toggle, false, true slider you can slide this and it prints the exact value um, drop downs a B and C and then binds this one is a little bit confusing because when you enter the bind it doesn't really do anything but when you hit that button it'll show up uh, or it'll fire an event color picker which is very very nice this if you were to make your own GUI this would be pretty difficult and then there's a uh, box so like text or numbers so you can change it. it's all very customizable you can change the color of everything um, but yeah so let's say I wanted to make a really quick GUI for a nomic which is a game that's almost like the streets I think I'm actually banned on this account hold on yeah okay I'm banned on this account let me swap really quick all right, so I'm on a new account. This account I shouldn't be banned on, but let's say that um, I just wanted to create a really quick GUI for this. I have a whole bunch of individual scripts already. I just don't want to execute them every time. So I have horn fucker. Let's say I just wanted to quickly create a button for horn fucker. So how would I do that? Well, we only need a toggle button. We would, all we need is a toggle here so we can get rid of everything else here. I'm gonna keep the label. Okay, so I commented everything off. There's a bunch of different, I guess, parameters. I just want to make it say horn fucker because it's going to fuck all the horns. So while wait do, if, here I'm going to create a new variable, local horn enabled equals false. And then we'll do horn enabled equals bool equals true then. Just tab this out and so this should work here, so I'm just gonna copy this. Oh yeah, this only works with higher end uh, script injectors because it, it relies on a load string. So if you don't have that, then uh, here's the GUI we just made. Very simple, only has horn fucker. GUI comes up. You got the window, the folder, and that does nothing. Yeah, it doesn't even print. Oh, maybe. That's Python. Yeah, shoot me, bitch. I fucking hate this game. Maybe that was why. I don't remember what I did because I got sidetracked, but okay. Yeah. And then that turns it off. So what did I do to fix that? Oh, I just added the two string because it was airing out. Nothing came up. Well, I don't think anything came up. Yeah, nothing came up. Okay, well, that's good. I'm going to write the rest of... The I'm actually going to continue writing this. So we'll, we'll, we'll set this to... Horn fucker. Uh, pretty useless, not gonna lie, to anomic GUI. And we don't need a folder. I don't want a folder, at least. So I'm gonna get rid of B, and then just put it directly into W. And it's it's super modular, it's super, super simple. Again, big shout out to Ika, or however you pronounce that name. Oh, it's so much better than writing out yourself. Okay, so we I have a couple scripts. I have horn fucker. I have door fucker. I like this one. This one lags really bad though. So I just got a door fucker and then function bool. So I already have a while wait. So why not just add that'll lag really bad though. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, if horn enabled and then I'll do if door enabled equals true then 
add an end here, and I also got to create this door enabled. Equal door enabled equals true, and then this I gotta do. I'm just gonna copy this over. Door enabled, uh, door fucker, uh, and that's that should be working now too. Yeah, that should be working now too. What else do I have for this? I have um, ammo fucker, so you get infinite ammo, but I'm not sure if this still works. I think that's what actually got me banned, so I'm not gonna add that. Then I had radio fucker. Radio fucker was amazing. Uh, they patched it though. What it did was every single car, no matter if there was someone in it, no matter if the owner owned the game pass or if the person who executed the script owns a game pass, it would just blast whatever music you want and it'd be all at the same time. So you could blast like shitting noises and um, yeah, it was, it was pretty awesome. Um, this is actually a GUI that I wrote for me or I wrote a while ago, but it, it was really bad. So I have infinite jump. I guess what I could do is this. I could just copy this and then put that directly into there. So I will just add another infinite jump. I'm just gonna add another toggle. Uh, and then. Yeah, so I need to. And I'm writing this in Visual Studio Code just because it's better. Uh, that way I don't have to have Studio open. And plus, they're text the code edit or whatever way better and I actually don't want this in here I want this to be up above the weight and then just do this and then add a local variable oh why is this true should be false on default okay and then uh, I believe I had a couple other things here that was the door that was big head but big head doesn't work that's infinite ammo, but I'm not sure if that works. And this was the sprint. So I'll, I guess I'll add that. That's infinite stamina. Uh, I just gotta add another toggle. Then I could also add something like a uh, speed script, but I don't know if they have, actually I do, I do. I know that they have a, uh, if you change your walk speed, you get kicked. I don't know if you, they, they ban you yet. I got kicked once because of it when I was just figuring out how the game was built. I like to get new games, like Anomic, I found it off of Albert's channel. Get new games and then just violate the fuck out of their remote events. And uh, yeah, I just gotta create a variable for this. Oh yeah, this is, yeah, I'm gonna do this because this does it, this isn't a toggle button. Well, actually there's a toggle button and there's a, um, yeah, okay. So there's a key bind and there's a toggle button, which is perfect. What do I need? I guess I need a bind. So I'll add this. So uh, W bind, and then this is gonna be, um, it teleports you to where your mouse is pointing. So what is that called? I forget. Uh, mouse TP uh, bind. And then default bind is gonna be, actually yeah, I normally have it on C. And then, so when C gets pressed, what we do is teleport enabled where does that actually happen yeah it happens further down doesn't it and there's also a function called send message which it sends a message from like the server's actual uh like the game's built-in notification system which is pretty cool uh, which i'll add that too i guess um yeah this is the thing here so i don't have to get i don't have to have that because i already have the check because the gui and then um i don't need the user input service one either I just need the if teleport enabled, and then, yeah, I have to add the send message if I want to, uh, but I don't need that, so I'm just gonna get rid of that. Yeah, so, that's bind, so then whenever you, yeah, and so then teleport enabled, I just gotta create a toggle for that, and, W toggle, infinite stamina, so, what was it? Uh, teleport enabled, so yeah, I think this is good for now. Uh, it'll probably not work the first time, I'll probably have to troubleshoot it a bit, but, um, yeah, so, uh, it still says A, but, oh, there's an error. Attempt to call a nil value on line 17. So, line 17, that's this one, W label, uh, I guess you need B then. So, what was B? B was a folder. What was it? Ah, I forget. Let me go to the this so what was the folder 
this. Here, I'll just do this. And then I will set that to that, that to that, and that to that, so I don't have to change anything. Um, yeah. So, if I have uh, line 17 again, Wait, is it line 17? Yeah, so mouse TP true. So, that's working fine, but mouse TP. Oh, probably because I didn't... Oh, because there's no mouse. That's why. Local uh, equals game.players.local player get mouse. So that'll work then. I don't know what I was thinking. That's what happens when you strip scripts from other... From, like when you strip parts of a script and put it into another. Sometimes it just... Yeah, okay. So you can see it's working right now because I'm hitting C. Disable it, it's not working. Yeah, that works. Now if I put on horn fucker, there's actually a bus over here. That's working. So I'm gonna go back to town and then door fucker, that should... Is that working? I really can't tell. No, that's not working. Okay, so door fucker isn't working. Okay, so door fucker isn't working. Does it tell me why it's not working? Yes, it does. Okay, so line 114. So it's, it's an issue with getting the children or the descendants of, uh, of player plots. Oh, because there's no player plots um, variable. It's just saying. So what is player plots? Local player plots equals workspace.playerplots. So there we go. Um, there you go. So that's that was that issue. Super simple. This is all my fault, not the GUI libraries. They're gonna blow that shit up. Okay, so horn fucker, yeah, it works. Door fucker, yeah, that's working. You can see all the doors in the background. You can see these ones opening up too. Keep it, keep a uh, note that it's only doors that are attached to like livable spaces. If I turn that off, it's not gonna turn off because it's like right away. It's not gonna turn off right away because I'm sending so many remote events, but um. Mouse TP, yep, that works. Infinite stamina. Um, if I, okay, they f they fixed that one. Infinite jump still works though, but infinite stamina is broken. But that's fine. But yeah, so I can actually I can show you this. So if I change the mouse TP bind to G, change this. You can see I'm hitting G. If I change it to F, hitting F. Yeah, it's it's super super awesome quick GUI creation tool thingy and I would greatly recommend it link is in the description to the verm page vermilion if you don't know it's just an exploiting thorn form kind of confusing at first but hopefully this makes it easier to understand